All right. Eferberg. Okay. And then, where's the Marine Leader? Literally. Is there anything around here? Except for the first look, I didn't really look around the outside. No. Anything. Okay. Ooh, anybody up here? Or anything up here? Anything's gonna be down here, but take a look, I guess. Nope, nothing. All right, to town. It's really pouring, isn't it? Oh, we'll be drenched in no time. It reminds me of when Granny and I would go on strolls in the rain. Why would you do such a thing? It's as Granny always used to say, Elise. We have to embrace things as they are, in their purest state. I'm not sure that applies to the rain, Rosemarine. But it applies to everything in life, Elise. If you say so. This week went by so quickly, didn't it? I can hardly believe it's almost the full moon, too. What of it, Rosemarine? Our fate will be revealed tomorrow, Elise. Both are fates in a way. You truly can't think of anything else, can you? Can you? For goodness sake, I can tell you're rather restless, Elise. Well, I haven't been having much rest lately, have I? I suppose, but... That's all right, Rosamarine. We have to embrace it, right? Embrace everything in its pure state. Yes! I have the... I do. Okay. Ooh, red. And let's see what Granny has to say. Wouldn't it be best to stay inside today, Granny Gretel? Oh, I wouldn't want to miss you, dearie. I mean it, Granny. This can't be good for you. I'd say it's a good thing, Miss Gretel. Atta girl, lassie. Maybe you could learn a thing or two from your cousin, Elise. Oh, you're both losing your minds. Speaking of which, my dear, is this about Lepkajin? Keep an eye on her for me, will ya? She's rather stubborn, as you know. Alright, I will. I wager she's likely still not feeling her best. For goodness sake, Lepkajin. else about? There's this house up here. Eh, still run down.
Where's everyone? I suppose folks wouldn't like standing in the rain. For goodness sake. Folks don't care about that in Kiefer Burger's Marine. Come now, let's see what's going on. Uh, yes. Ah, yes. Say, Elise, why don't you go into your grandmother's room? Nothing to see there is all. I suppose, but... It's where she passed, too. I... I don't like to be reminded of it. I haven't gone back to my granny's resting place, either. So you do understand why I don't go in there. In a way, I do. In a way, huh? Granny Hull's room, huh? I won't be going in there ever again, I don't think. Okay. Find out what happened. Okay, so they're gonna be at the religion, huh? In that case, I go other places. Oh. oh, you think I'm losing my wits too? No such thing, Miss Oddly. What's wrong, Miss Oddly? This rain, Lass, that's what's wrong. It's just a little rain. What do you know, Lassie? There's no need to be so curt, Miss Oddly. Look how dark the sky is, Lepkachin. We nearly need our lanterns and in broad daylight. What do you think the cause is? Like a faith, Elise, yours and all of Kieferberg's. None of this would have happened had we all prayed. It may be best you two leave. I'll handle this. Hmm. Any way for me to... Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see. I should be able to use that key I found, but it doesn't seem like I can. Not for this door. Uh. Okay. Okay, so I still can't go in yet. Nobody up here. I forgot to check down here. Aha! Berries! Okay, well I guess it's something. Hiding? Alright, let's check up here before we get... Because if we enter that area, it's gonna get... Day passed or something, maybe. Where am I? Okay. Thing up here. Aha! You're telling me, Lise? Huh? I was warning you two would be staying home today. Just a little rain, Mr. Gustav. It'll ease up soon enough, I'd wager. That's what I keep telling him. You lassies are as stubborn as mules, aren't you? Papa, it's no big deal, Mr. Gustav. We'll manage. I thank you, Elise. What happened to the maypole makes it a very big deal, I'd say. I can't have you working into the night, Freya. What happened to the maypole? Ah, a few of the flowers got torn off with the wind and the rain is all. I'm sorry, Freya. Oh, Elise, that's all right. But all that work was wasted, and it was coming along so well, too. I get to make it even prettier now, that's all. Ah, that's what happened. I only hope the rain won't tear it down again. Anything additional? Nope. Okay. Oh, down here, I forgot. Ah. 
Oh, I didn't think you girls were coming by today. I can't very well afford to stay home on a weekday, can I? Even Elisa's out and about, Mama. I said no, Jacob. You're staying home until this rain leaves us. But Mama... It wouldn't be that bad for the boy to come out. What if he falls ill? Did you forget what happened to Atfell already? Miss Wilma stays inside the inn all day and she's fine, Mama. I guess it's too bad you're not Wilma, isn't it? Your mother's right, Jacob. What if you're too sick for the festival tomorrow? Oh, but Miss Lisbeth's letting Atfell in. Do I look like Lisbeth to you? Off you go now. That's not the metal. Dialogue yet? Nope. Alright. Yeah, let's go to the village. Oh, okay. You should trust them, Brunhilde. Oh, but what are we to do if they don't come back, Dorothea? Who's not coming back, Miss Brunhild? Good grief, Elise, don't say that. The lads went out on patrol is all. I see. Can't say I'm not worried about this rain, but... They're grown men. They can fend for themselves, I'm sure. Oh, but what about what happened to your husband? Hmm. Anyhow, Elizabeth. I'll be expecting you, Dorothea. Expecting Miss Dorothea? This is going to be held at home today, Elise. We wouldn't want to have the children out in this rain, after all. Well, they won't take kindly to staying home all day. I can't help but think it was ill will, Miss Marielle. What was it, Miss Ariani? You think someone did all that to the Maypole, Miss Ariani? That's what we all think, Elise. Are you certain it couldn't have been the rain? With all that's going on, lass? It's such a shame. She put so much time to it. Maybe we're making a greater deal out of it than we ought to. I'm certain that's it, Miss Marilyn. Oh, how I would like to believe you, Elise. Nobody would purposely tear it down, would they? Okay, before I get into that... Let's see if there's anybody hiding down here. Oh. More berries, huh? Okay. Oh, those all the way up. Kieferberg's maypole leans clumsily to the side, still stripped of its main decorations. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Even I will lend Freya a hand with the maypole if need be, Bertha. These two lassies will too, I'd wager. Of course, Mr. Heinrich. This was ill will, father. Now that you mention it, 
Could have been the rain, Mrs. Bertha. As it likely was, anyhow. What matters is that we lend Freya a hand, folks. Heinrich is right, we can't be without a maypole tomorrow. Oh, it truly has been one thing after another. We ought to gather for prayers. I would like all of Kieferberg to gather in church this afternoon. We're doing something at last. It's imperative we are all united and of the same mind. I'll make certain to spread the word, Father. Gathering all these frightened folks in the same place can't be a good thing. I suppose I can't miss it, though. Yep, knew it. I'd carry on. She's heading around here. Uh, later is attend. Chop wood, kiss the rat. I am going to be chopping the wood. I'm afraid Wilma simply won't listen, Ariani. This Wilma's being unreasonable again, I'd wager. Wilma's refusing to allow folks to work in her inn. Even though we can't make ourselves useful in this rain. Hmm... Miss Wilma's always been like this, hasn't she? Next thing we know, she'll be blaming Miss Wilma for it. I wouldn't say you're wrong, Elise. She's right, Wilma's always being difficult. I wouldn't put it past her to blame poor Wilma. Well, to think we were so hopeful just this Sunday. The festival's tomorrow, Miss Ariane. It'll be fine. You can only hope, Elise. Who knows, maybe Miss Wilma will get what she deserves sooner rather than later. Hmm, oh. Okay, Resident Marine ran off. I see you there. What are you doing out here in the rain, Lepkachin? I've been visiting folks' homes is all. What for? Everyone's a little bit on the edge because of the rain. Father Hands wanted me to help settle the townsfolk. Didn't you to entertain this foolery, huh? That's all right, Elise. I'm feeling rather well rested. Even if that's the case, Lepkachin. It's the festival tomorrow, Elise. What does the festival have to do with it? Why, it's only one more day. As long as you don't push it. I won't, I won't. Okay. Mommy. It's you! Uh, it's you, Elise! What have I done now, Martha? Y you tore down the maypole! Have you completely lost your mind, Melly? Ah, so, so it wasn't you, Elise. Of course it wasn't me, you little... Eek! Wait, have you been telling folks it was me who... N not yet, I came to you for some apple strudel. You're not telling anyone anything of the sort, you hear me? W watch me. Uh, I c can run really fast, Elise. I uh, give. All right, all right. Is this what you want? Oh boy, oh boy. Well, keep your mouth shut then. I uh, I'll say nothing. Not even a a little squeak. Oh, I'll be the one making you squeak if you dare utter a single word, Maggie. Eek! This better be the last time I have to bribe her. Yeesh. Okay, who else? I talked to them, I talked to the other one... Oh, wait, did I talk to... I've got twice? Hold on. Ah, Father Hands is just keeping her busy for the sake of it, that's what. Okay, now again. In a minute, did I? Oh? A little too eager to set up a dinner table outside, aren't they? Not like it's my problem, anyhow. 
Ah, missed that for a long time. Hmm. Someone's already been drinking, it seems. Folks truly don't have anything else to look forward to, do they? Hmm, okay. That's good to hear, I suppose. You speak as though you'd rather have us find something, Lorley. And what, Mr. Heinrich? Oh, we were discussing last night's patrol is all. It was rather uneventful, tiring if anything. I find it strange nobody's found anything since Tuesday is all. Hmm. Isn't it better this way, Miss Lorley? That must mean there's no wish, wouldn't you say? Truly, I take this over finding horseshoes and whatnot. No offense, Eugen. Not taken, Heinrich. I share the sentiment. I suppose you're right, lass. Hmm. Miss Lorley doesn't have anything better to do, does she? Hard at work even with this awful rain? I could say the same about you, Mr. Wilhelm. I'm too old to fret over a little rain. You can't keep me from my morning walks. I suppose no one can, no. Folks are too preoccupied with this witch nonsense. Even a rainy day is knocking them sideways. At least the festival will bring them some peace of mind, won't it? Let's hope it does last, but you never know. What do you mean, Mr. Wilhelm? Folks are addicted to this foolery, that's what I mean. That's why I'm avoiding everyone until this afternoon. Must look after myself. Addicted, you say? That's a rather sensible way to look at it, isn't it? Nobody down here... nope. And there shouldn't be anything in that well. The only thing left would be... the room. Ah. It must have been someone, that's for certain. About the maypole, I assume? Oddly certain it was ill will, Elise. You've seen what the windstorm did to Kieferberg last Sunday, oddly. Perhaps the maypole suffered the same fate. Hmm. We've all had enough, Miss Oddly. The festival's tomorrow, Miss Oddly. Give it a rest. On the contrary, lass, it's never been this bad. Now that's a proper exaggeration, Oddly. He's right, Marshchild. Didn't Father Hans say we're together this afternoon? If there's anyone who will know what to do, it'll be him. Oh, you lot will never understand. Some folks will do anything to live in a fear, won't they? Anybody way up here? Nope. Anybody hiding in the barn? Ah, Elise! I can lend you a hand with the maypole, Freya. Oh, it's not that, it's Miss Wilma. She won't allow me and Miss Linda to work on the maypole instead of the inn. Oh, for goodness sake! Because of the rain, you see. Why does she always have to be such a... That's alright, Elise. Miss Linda will be stopping by to lend a hand in a little while. These folks are pushing it, that's what. I'll figure it out, Elise. If you say so. 
Freya truly is too submissive. She's so dedicated, and yet... Still, Brunhild, you shouldn't say such things. I suppose not, but... Getting an earful, Miss Brunhild? Let's not stick your nose in other folks' business, lassie. Thought I'd give Miss Brunhild some of my sympathy is all. Oh, Elise, this week has been so hard on everyone. All the more reason not to antagonize me over trivial things. It's far from being a triviality, Miss Bertha. What are you talking about? Miss Bertha said it's a good thing Freya's maypole got torn down, Elise. She can make it prettier this time around, that's all. Only that's not what you said, Miss Bertha. You're old enough to know the way you say things doesn't matter, Brunhild. Best I move along before I lose my patience. It's good that Miss Brunhild's talking some sense into her, at least. And that's to kiss the rat. Oh, that's a relief, Linda. What is Miss Elizabeth? Oh, we were chatting about the festival, Elise. It's finally happening, but now we have this rain. We've had worse than a little rain, Miss Elizabeth. That's true, things are looking up despite everything. And that fellow seems to be feeling better. I figured I would let them both out for a little while. Has he stopped talking about the witch, Elizabeth? I don't know, Linda. I think he's keeping something for me. My two remaining goats are still ill, too. Miss Lisbeth. The festival will bring back some peace, Lisbeth. Father Hans has finally arranged for a doctor to drop by, at least. Oh, that's wonderful, Lisbeth. Miss Lisbeth is still dealing with the same problems, huh? I wonder why Apfel decided to keep it to himself all of a sudden. Ill will is inevitable, as much as it saddens me to say. Folks are at their wit's end, that's what. I wouldn't say it's ill will. I understand, lass. Nobody wants to believe one of us could have done it. That's because it wasn't one of us. You're the one who's at the root of all this hearsay nonsense, old jockin. Come now, Bernhard, let's keep it civil. Hmm. Mr. Bernhard's right, I'd say. Folks wouldn't have thought of the witch if it hadn't been for old jockin. In fact, that Ranger folks would have forgotten about it by now if you'd let him. I must say, I agree, lass. Many things could have been avoided. No, many things could have been avoided thanks to me. Be that as it may, we're to take this week as a learning experience. Which is why we ought to gather for a vigil. Gather everyone for prayer. That'll bring us together. I've let Lepkachin know to make preparations. Well, Jockin's been rather well behaved lately, hasn't he? Oh? Can you believe the weather we're having, Elise? After all that trouble I had yesterday? Trouble with what, Miss Alma? By drawing water from the well, Elise. Only for it to overflow, and now this rain, too. For goodness sake, what have we done to deserve this? The festival's tomorrow, Miss Alma. What of it, Elise? Festival's the festival, it won't solve anything. Wait, it might at least lift folk spirits. Oh, lassie. That's the last time I try to cheer up this old hag. Oh, Rosamarine. Don't catch a cold standing out here, Rosamarine. That's alright, Elise, I'm used to it. And it's so awfully nostalgic, too. Nostalgic, you say? I miss spending time in nature, you see. Granny and I would often dance about in the rain. You'd be catching colds quite often, I imagine. Oh, on the contrary. I might look fragile, but I'm tough. Stubborn, too. Elise! I wouldn't know what to do if you got sick, Rosamarine. I can take care of myself, Elise. Oh, don't you start. I'm trying to look after you here. Like you always do, I know. 
Oh, for goodness sake. She did reach Keeper Brigal by herself. <laughs> 